Interesting week thus far. It got more interesting uh, both last night and early this morning uh, when uh, members of the state legislature uh, to the south in Springfield, Illinois, uh, passed a massive tax increase. Uh, the final passage, I believe, believe being about 1.30 this morning. And uh, I've spent a good chunk of the day in and out of meetings here uh, on the phone, and we'll be uh, going off to do a TV interview uh, with media in Illinois. Um, we've had a little bit of fun. We dug up a slogan from the past, uh, Escape to Wisconsin, which was the tourist slogan uh, back in the 80s, and we've adapted it uh, as the message we're very clearly sending to employers uh, in the state of Illinois. Uh, your governor, your legislature in Illinois, uh, sent a very clear message what they think about employers in that state. Uh, the Chicago Tribune wrote, uh, I think, a, a editorial today that put the, uh, hit the nail on the head, uh, talking about this being a job killer. Uh, that's exactly where they're taking it in that direction right now in the land of Lincoln. Uh, we want to send a sharp contrast, and we already have for the past week here in the Badger State, that Wisconsin is open for business and that we take the contrast seriously. Uh, and to that extent, it's my hope that this is one more incentive uh, for the members of the State Assembly and the State Senate, Republican and Democrat alike, to move forward on aggressively passing uh, parts of our jobs agenda uh, during the special session. Now, the contrast I've given all day is that while Springfield is looking to balance their budget uh, by uh, excessive increases in taxes on both employers and individuals, we're sending a message early in the days in office that we're looking to cut taxes and reduce the overall tax burden on individuals and employers uh, long term as part of our budget and subsequent actions, as well as in this special session doing more to lower the cost of doing business, not only when it comes to taxes, but specifically when it comes to regulation, litigation, and health care costs. And uh, we think this is a tremendous, tremendous example for us to make to businesses south of the border.